So when you want to debug your Firebase Cloud functions, it can be useful to emulate them locally so you can step through the code. This can be better than using the production cloud functions as you're going to have to just use the logs to read the errors and those can be kind of, sometimes it can be hard to see what is going on. So in order to emulate locally, we have to do several things. The first thing you can do is you can install the Firebase tools through here and that will allow you to emulate various processes. In our case, we just want to emulate the functions. So what you can do once you install the Firebase tools is that you can just run Firebase emulate start only functions inspect functions. Now the function that we're going to test is one that's called um, upsert username. And we've actually started to use uh, expressing cores just to make the code more readable and reusable. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be taking a post request and we're going to be taking the username and the user ID and we're going to store it in the database using this path and just setting the user ID. Now, if you want to debug this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run it in inspect mode, which is this shown here. And we're doing um, Firebase emulator to start only functions. And then we've got inspect functions, which will allow us to attach the debug process. Now, in order for this function to work correctly, and because we're um, not bothering to emulate the uh, real-time database, we're going to be using um, Google Credentials file, which we have to uh, go to the, um, the settings of Google Cloud and to get the credentials. You can Google about that. I won't, I won't bother going through that right now. But anyway, in order to use it, you have to download the credentials file, which will give your um, local instance of the Firebase um, calls uh, access to production data. You can actually um, download the file and uh, I've actually saved it in my home directory and you export this path here, which will then be used by the Firebase emulator start. And it will actually warn you saying because real-time database is not, um, because real-time database is not using an emulator, it will affect production. So you can really mess things up here if you don't know what you're doing or you're not careful. So anyway, we're going to start this function up and um, just skip through this somehow it's hitting the breakpoints. But this is the node process in Chrome. I used to debug these things in WebStorm, but uh, I just kind of prefer using the Chrome dev tools now because it's that good for inspecting the node functions. So anyway, let's go to our app and let's just to see if this gets called correctly. So um, let's go to our Svelte app. Okay, so let's just put some data here and then just click register. Okay, so we're coming into the register function, which is in our Firebase backend file. And uh, we're just going to extract these parameters here and we're going to post it to our backend. So just a quick note here, when you're using your local version of the emulation, then you're going to be using a local host on whatever port your emulators are running on, which in this case is 5002. And then we're not going to be using the production URL, which is this one. Now, when you're convert, so basically I've got this base path, which I'm using for all the requests, and then I have the name of the function, for example, upset username appended to the base path. Now, the way that you translate your production path to the local local one is that you take the, you d you've got the URL for the emulation, which is this one, and then you take the the name of your project, which is this, this one, full, swell, full stack starter, and then you append the uh, the region, and then you, of course the the other part of it would be the the name of the function. Okay, so if we go back to our our app here, we're going to see that this is the path, and like this one. If we go to network, we'll see that the full path is just as we said with this the appended upset username at the end of it. So I hope all that makes a reasonable amount of sense. And lo and behold, it comes in here and uh, we have our cloud function, which we can debug, which is exactly what we want. And because we're using our Google credentials file, then this actual call to the admin database will update the real database. So we have in here this uh, username path, WEF, and we're going to be using this UID. So now let's just expect the real data in Google Cloud before the right operation. So we have these usernames here, and we're going to be inserting this one WEF. Let's just run this. Okay, so now we can see that we have this function here. Now this is a very simple function, of course, 
but you can imagine that if you had quite a lot of logic here then this this would be easier to debug this than just uh, reading through the logs in uh, the Google Firebase log files. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please leave any more any comments and smash that like button if you want me to keep making more of these videos and enjoy them. Thanks and have a good day.